if you live in the western part of the country, you know, and if you have a television, you've seen that there are horrible wildfires ravaging the western states, a couple of them. It's been going on for a little while, but it took no time at all for the usual vultures and parasites to swoop in and try to make political advantage out of this. Barack Obama, the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, are not telling you that these fires are a direct result of climate change. And according to Barack Obama, Donald Trump is directly responsible for them. Obama tweeted this, quote, vote like your life depends on it because it does. You could die if you don't vote for Joe Biden. In fact, if you don't vote for Joe Biden, we're going to see a lot more fires and not just from BLM rioters. The media, of course, dutifully went along with this, as they always do. There are now 96 major wildfires burning across the American West. The biggest of those fires is burning across California, Oregon, and Washington. Hundreds of thousands of acres have so far been raised, and extreme heat and high winds continue to fuel the fires to near uncontrollable levels caused by climate change. Of course, there's no evidence for that, but lying on television is now the norm, so everyone did it. In fact, we know that a pyrotechnic device of some kind at a gender reveal party appears to have sparked the biggest of the fires. That's now grown to more than 10,000 acres. We also know that state regulations preventing deforestation played a role, likely, in spreading the blazes. We also know that the state of Oregon apparently sent a number of its firefighting helicopters to Afghanistan at neocon request to fight a war that has no purpose, that has gone on for 19 years, and that Donald Trump has attacked for trying to end. But whatever. What the Democrats in California want you to know is, no, we've mismanaged the energy grid so badly we can't leave the lights on. We literally can't be a first world state anymore. But it's not our fault. It's Donald Trump's fault. How long can this lying go on exactly, this blame shifting? Michael Schellenberger is the president of Environmental Progress, author of Apocalypse Never, Why Environmental Alarmism Hurts Us All. He joins us tonight. Michael Schellenberger, thanks so much thanks for, for joining me, us tonight. So you're, you're hearing right. news anchors sort of blithely assign blame for these fires to climate change. How do they know that? Like, where, where, where are the data on that exactly? I mean, the media coverage has been really irresponsible. I'm sorry to see President Obama uh, make even more extreme statements than we've seen out of Mother Jones, which of all places, our left wing magazine in San Francisco actually did a pretty good job covering this. For, in the research for Apocalypse Never, I interviewed most of the top California forest scientists, and what they really emphasize is that there's two kinds of forests, one of which we don't have enough fires in. We actually needed more of the smaller prescribed burns or controlled burns. We haven't been doing that for 120 years, and so the, the wood fuel has been building up. That's why the fires are so intense. That's why there's so much smoke in San Francisco. And then there's another kind of fire, the shrubland fires, where we want less fires in. Right. And that's mostly been having to do with more people and more electrical wires, which they've failed to maintain for many decades because we've been focused on other things like building renewables. So overpopulation plays a role, obviously, in despoiling the environment. If you care about nature, if you understand nature, you don't want overpopulation. Have you ever heard anybody on the left say that out loud? Are you allowed to say that? Well, there's, you know, some of it's had a very dark side in the past of emphasizing too many people. I mean, the truth is we can coexist with the natural environment, but we have to maintain our infrastructure. You have to maintain, you have to clear the area around the electrical lines. That's something that Pacific Gas and Electric wasn't doing for the last several decades because it's been so focused on renewables, because it's been so focused on climate change. Really, the main event here is you've got to take care of your forests, and we haven't been right. doing that. And so we've been allowing all the wood fuel to build up. We wouldn't be having these serious fires if we had been better managing our forests. I think that sounds exactly right. Put people who care about nature, who understand nature, in charge of preserving nature. Keep the ideologues away. I think that's a good way to go forward. Michael, thanks so much. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me.